recent phase of my experience in Haivong started in 2000 when I met my wife. We were both living in Cincinnati and on my first trip home to introduce Dina, my wife, to, to my parents, in addition to Thanksgiving dinner, which was the, actually the reason we were there, we made sure to plan a trip to Haivong. And I was so excited to introduce Kathy to my girlfriend, who is soon to be my wife. And I guess maybe it was it was one of the tests to see if uh, if Dina really liked Tai Vong because of course that was a, that was a good test of whether our our relationship would would be successful. And of course, she loved it, even though she never had any any food exactly like it. We brought my son and also my daughter uh, when she was born to the restaurant, and now. Uh, my son is 16 years old, and he's really into cooking. And one of the things that he was most excited about with the book coming out was learning how to cook the Haivong recipes. And he's already he's already cooked two dishes for us. And so if I think about starting back in kindergarten, my relationship with a restaurant in high school and with my my wife when we were first dating, and now now my children, especially my son, who's 16 years old and loves to cook, and even he has a bond with Haivong. For somebody who, even if you don't love or know Vietnamese food, and you're trying to understand what was so special or different about the cooking at Haivong, a great example is the salad. And if you can get pictures of the salad that Tong would serve, it was a work of art. The, the watercress and the avocado and the tomatoes, I mean, you talk about the 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 secret dressing but one of the secrets of of the salad was Kathy would buy the best tomatoes you would ever have there I have never been to a restaurant anywhere at any price level that served better tomatoes than Kathy would put in the salad 